everybody as promised the history guy here replaying this battle uh, outside of Vicksburg as we try to retake the city and uh, as you can see I'm putting the bare minimum all along the wall here and then shifting the majority of my forces all over to the right it's gonna take a while though I imagine I'll be probably down to maybe half the time left by the time I get all my forces into position and I'm ready for an attack uh, so I'm shifting all my artillery to this side all my infantry to this side and what I'll do is I'll just kind of come in and out with the video. You can see these guys already broke off uh, and just kind of update you and let you see little bits rather than playing the whole battle over again. So you can see what I'm doing right now. I'm just shifting everybody up there. Once I'm ready for an attack, I'll come right back. All right, so all of my reinforcements, my entire army is now on the field and I'm just now getting into position to be able to attack. And of course, I need to rush these men at the wall before they can cause me to rout because if I get into a shooting match I have no chance as you can see the rest of these guys are all still trying to get into position I've driven back the units from this initial wall here So I'll come back and update in a little bit. All right, so the good news is this seems to be working. I'm overrunning the position. The bad news is I'm down to just two hours. So uh, as my concern was at the beginning, uh, one of time, that seems to be definitely the case. But I believe this is one of those battles where it allows you to kind of keep going even after the time is completed. So we'll see how that all kind of factors in. I gotta resupply my guys here. They're still just kind of in a shooting match, and I've got all my cavalry sitting here. If I need to hurry up and rush up to grab that position, I might be able to do that. Casualties right now with about two hours to go. Uh, Union's lost about 7,000 men. I've lost about 10,000. So they're actually fairly even at the moment, considering... And I seem to have the momentum coming up and over this hill. So we'll see what happens, though, when I get to this heavily fortified objective right there. I've just grabbed the first one. So I'm going to try to reform and then get ready for the final assault on that last objective. All right, here's your next update. There's an hour and 15 minutes to go. Uh, I'm moving cautiously, trying to keep my line together. I've lost 13,000 men. He's lost 11, almost 12,000. So I'm keeping the casualties pretty even this time. Uh, I'm just worried about how long it's taking. At some point, I'm going to have to get aggressive, and that's where I'm going to lose a lot of my men. But I'm just trying to hold the line on the left side, and that seems to be working. He, he actually advanced and tried to assault me, and that got turned back badly. I've got all these quick moving troops I can I can put in if I need to. But right now the whole focus is, and you can see his his numbers are just crumbling. These units that are defending are pretty low on, on men manpower. And of course mine overrunning this position meant that they grabbed a bunch of supplies along the way, so that was kind of nice. And I've gotten all my artillery up here now. And I'm just trying to keep my line integrity as strong as I can so the units don't get out in front of the others but that is taking a while and I'm down to an hour left so we'll move along a little further and we'll see how this goes all right so as expected time is a factor now as I'm down to just 17 minutes left not gonna get to the objective I don't think in that amount of time uh, enemies lost about 15,000 plus men I've lost about 20,000 now Probably 4,000 of those were in the last 15 minutes or so just as I hit this spot. This is the spot where your men get chewed up and spit out no matter where you attack from. This is where it ends up being the costliest. I am overrunning this other objective. And I just put my horsemen into the fight finally. I looked for a good moment to do that, and when most of his infantry had broken from this spot, that's when I sent him in. I 
But there are more units over here, so that might be a mistake. But with just eight minutes to go, I just can't quite get there. He's down to just 24,000 men. And I've secured three of the four objectives now. But I just can't get to this last one. And like I said, most of my casualties have come in the last few minutes. Uh, I had only lost 16,000 men with a half hour to go. Now it's at 23,000. So a third of my casualties have happened in the last half hour of fighting. But you can continue the mission. So that's what we're going to do until we take these objectives. But I think the casualties are going to end up the same, and most of that because of this last part right here. I'm going to lose as many men taking this hill as I did for the entire rest of the battle. Come on, guys. All right, there it is. Okay. Casualties <laughs> ended up exactly the same. Uh, 28,000 for me. I don't remember how many the Union had the first time, but he's got 22,000 this time. Uh, so I'll have to go back and look to see how all of it compares. But uh, I don't think it's a lot different. I think I captured a lot more 24-pounders this time. But otherwise, I feel like it's exactly the same. So we'll go back and compare. We'll look. But um, half of those men I lost just taking that last hill. So uh, there you have it. That's one uh, another uh, kind of idea as far as strategy goes. Assaulting from the right. It seemed like it was going really well until we got to that last hill. So uh, I'll keep experimenting with this one here and there. And we'll see what I can come up with. But uh, the right assault seems to be about the same. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.